For those who'd like to take a trip to Mars, Hanksville, Utah might be the next best thing. The Mars Desert Research Station gives researchers and scientists a glimpse of what life could be like on the red planet, over 33 million miles away. This uh, base has been constructed in 2001 by the Mars Society to be able to create a um, scientific campus where researchers from all over the world are able to, um, to gather and to, to try to answer different questions related to uh, the exploration of Mars. If you're like me, you too have questions about the exploration of the red planet. Hi! <laughs> So we stopped by the Mars Desert Research Station to get answers. You're coming? Thank you. We're excited. So we will wait one minute so that we pressurize and we, uh, we add oxygen, nitrogen to be able to breathe. So at this part, should I be in a suit too or? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, to live. <laughs> These students and researchers from Belgium embark on this once in a lifetime red planet experience for two whole weeks until the next crew arrives. <laughs> yeah. I'm a doctor in um, uh, econometrics and uh, complex system science, and I'm uh, the commander of uh, the crew uh, 211. The it's only uh, okay. 50 uh, square meters for the living quarter. We have to know each other quite well. Oh, this is really nice. Spacious. Yeah, it's the only living place, so we are eight. We sleep uh, just back there. Does yeah. it work? Can you see? <laughs> it's a little tight. It was built this way on purpose so the Mars Society could yeah. study how scientists work together in close quarters. We are able to feel this um, uh, feeling of confinement that astronauts will certainly have um, uh, on Mars. Um. Said you guys came in through Denver and you drove out here. What was the moment when you felt like you had left Earth? Just after Hanksville, when you you get to uh, to the this little road uh, <laughs> it's quite amazing to uh, to go from civilization to uh, to mars when you saw pictures that are taken on mars and pictures here in utah the only difference is about the sky because of the atmosphere but it is really uh, the same in the mountains there are uh, layers of different colors of red it's uh, it's it's amazing On Thursday, we went outside when it was the night, and we had just look up at the stars, and I've never seen the sky like this before. In Belgium, it's not possible. And I'll keep this, this picture in my head all my life, because it was really amazing. As I uh, became truly passionate by astronomy and physics, uh, when, when I saw that it was possible to, um, to do a Martian simulation uh, here, I directly say uh, yes. Of course. <laughs> we have an experiment uh, related to law, we have an experiment in biology, uh, two experiments in physics, three experiments in engineering. There are four other modules. So we have the repair and assembly modules, um, we have the um, observatory, and we have the green hub. So where are we going to next? I think we're going to the RAM repair and assembly module. Let's go! Yeah, yeah. let's do this. <laughs> Once again, careful with the ladder. Okay. Has anyone fallen? Yep. Oh. <laughs> Welcome in the RAM. So it is the repair and assembly module. Uh, since we are uh, in a very small space, we have uh, to, um, to be very organized uh, in our different tasks. Check out the station's two observatories. Nice One for the moon, nice and the other to look directly at what your mother Hello. told you not to, the laugh? sun. It? It's amazing, and uh, I can put a, a camera there uh, that I can connect to my computer, and we can see the sun. Uh, two days ago, we saw a solar eruption. Do you want to see the, the yes, picture? Yes, okay. absolutely. <laughs> You see, it's uh, like boiling water mm -hmm. at the surface. It's because of the hot and cold gases that go up and down. Wow. So it's really amazing. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. 
A few steps away, HAP3 keeps the entire operation running. Hello. Now we are in the green hub. It's where we are getting our fresh food. Do we take parsley too? Oh, yeah. So I will have to weigh them on the balance afterwards to record uh, each harvest. Je vraiment pour la 47, 87 en fait. C'est nous pour les faire gonfler. So as you can see, uh, I'm like uh, the mother doing a jam and <laughs> cooking a, a nice meal. Ça We can see that uh, going to Mars is not about just engineering. We, we need a lot of different people with different expertise. It's very interesting um, to have other people working in different fields because they, they could share their way of thinking about different things. Science is um, such a powerful tool. It is not for some elite, some minority. Science is for everyone. Here we have uh, the Earth gravity, we have the Earth atmosphere, we have the Earth <laughs> temperature. So we had to think about it, um, so uh, try to find uh, different experiments that we could do here and could be helpful uh, even if we are not uh, on Mars. Until that day, a few weeks in Hanksville, Utah will make do. Do you feel like you're on Mars right now? Yes. The landscapes are the beautiful, um, the, the best thing that we can hope for uh, during the, this simulation. Oh, there's more to go. Need a hand. I'm just gonna roll back down. <laughs> As um, Carl Sagan said, science is more than a body of knowledge. Oh, wow. It's really a way of thinking. And I think we have to transmit this way of thinking to everyone. 